All right, here we go. This one's going to be a 357 SIG test. Today, we're going to be doing Spear versus Federal. So for the Spear, that one is the 125 grain gold dot. There's what that one looks like. does have a very shallow hollow point cavity. There's that deep curl bullet. does have your nickel plated brass, and that one's rated at 1,350 feet per second. And for our Federal, that one is the 125 grain HST. That one also has your nickel plated brass and that one's right at 1360 feet per second. So we'll see how close we come today. So we'll be going out of our Glock 32. That one does have that four inch barrel and through our gel that is a 10% block. We do have our catch block behind that. So a total of 22 inches of gel, our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. And like always, we'll set up our chronograph so we can hopefully pick up those impact velocities. So let's set up and see how these rounds do head to head. First one up will be that spear gold dot. All right, we're still back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. All right, looks like our impact velocity on that one was 1368. So definitely not too bad. I believe rated was 1350. So uh, a little bit over advertised, always good to see. So here is that entry. Looks like I got a perfect hit on that one. And you can see right down in that cavity, looks like I got some pretty good uh, spiral cuts and a huge star pattern going on so far. So let's check it out from the top. Oh yeah, check that out. Looking really good so far ton of damage going through looks like it carried it pretty much the whole way through that first one and we actually did make it into that second block so not too bad so let's see what kind of measurement we have here on this first stretch so like i always do i will uh, do our cross sections here at the end so we can get a little bit more accurate measurement but for now it looks like our widest spot is a little over two and a half inches so definitely not too bad there so let's check it out from the side and same thing from the side so it looks like as soon as that one came in opened up really nicely you can see uh where it started dumping energy right away huge uh spiral cuts going all the way through and those gold dots usually leave a nice distinct pattern going you know through this gel and it does look like it carried about two-thirds of the way through that block it did start to settle down a little bit and then you can see it resting down that second block so let's see what kind of measurement we have here from the side so the widest spot on the side is exactly the same, just about two and a half inches. Uh, so not too bad at all. So let's see what kind of penetration we got. You can see that round resting down in there. It looks like it is facing away from us towards the right. And at our leading edge, we are at two and a half inches. So I made it a total of 13 and a half inches of penetration for that. So let's set up for that HST and see how that one does. All right, we're still back to 15 feet. All right, let's see what we did on that one. All right, so it looks like our impact velocity on that one was 1388. So awesome to see there. That one was right at 1360. So same as that last one, a little bit over advertised. So really good to see. And I believe the last one was in the, was in the 1380s too. So pretty much identical there. All right, so there is the entry for that one. Looks like we got another perfect hit. Same as the last one, you can see right down in there, it looks like I have another huge star pattern. So awesome to see. So let's check it out from the top. Oh yeah, check it out. Is that track on the left? So you got a ton of damage going in. It looks like it did carry it pretty much the whole way through that block. And this one, we did make it into that second block. So 
Good stuff for sure. So let's see what kind of measurement we have here. So it looks like at our widest spot, we are right at about three and a quarter inches. So actually quite a bit more than that um, gold dot. I believe that one was two and three quarters um, or a little over two and a half. And that one was three and a quarter. So that is uh, definitely quite a bit more. So let's check it out from the side. And it looks like same thing from the side. So as soon as that one came in, started to open up really nicely. Did uh, create quite a bit of damage going through. It looks like that one carried out pretty much exactly the same, that about two thirds of the block area. And it did start to settle down and then we did make it into that second block. So let's see what kind of measurement we have here from the side. So from the side, we are just over two and three quarters. So not as much from this um, side and the top, but you know, still pretty good there. And then we did make it into the second block. It is this round here on the top. And that one is actually facing towards us, so to the left. So let's see what kind of measurement we have there. Leading edge. That one is about three and a half inches. So that one got about an inch more penetration than that last one. So 14 and a half inches of total penetration for the HST. So awesome to see. Um, and usually when I do carry that SIG, I am, you know, have it, all my SIGs stuffed with uh, that you know federal hst is definitely my favorite round let's check these tracks out one more time from the top so one on the right is that gold dot one on the left is that hst so here is that gold dot see as soon as it came in it started to open up it's a really distinct star pattern going all the way through did start to settle down just a little bit and we did make into that second one is that round there on the top and for hst same thing immediate expansion tons of disruption through that gel carrying pretty much the whole way through that block we did settle down and we did also make it into that second block so let's pull these rounds and see what they look like all right check these things out looks like they both got some awesome expansion so the one on the right is that gold dot one on the left is that hst so here is that gold dot you can see that one open up really nicely it does have that signature gold dot there right in the center but we got some perfect mushrooming. Peel those petals back absolutely perfectly. But those things always do great. And that this one is that uh, five petal gold dot. Uh, it's been pretty hard to find the six petal, but this one always performs really well. And here is that HST. Same thing with that one. Open up perfectly. Picture perfect for that. And like I said, this is what I usually carry in every 357 SIG I have. It always does great also. This one is a little bit sharper, but absolutely picture perfect expansion. It does have quite a bit of gel in there. So like I always do, I will rinse these out before we do our uh, still shots and slow-mo and all that good stuff. But perfect, perfect expansion. So here they are one time from the bottom. So one on the right is that gold dot, one on the left is that HST. And last time from the top. So like I said, I will uh, rinse these, get our still shots, slow-mo, all that good stuff here at the end, guys. But there we go. That one was 125 grain Spear Gold Dot versus 125 grain Federal HST in that 357 SIG. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, here's that cross-section for that Gold Dot. You can see we've got some really nice splitting going on. Very uniform spiral cut going all the way down in. Same on this side. Um, I did remeasure these and we are peaking right at two and three quarter inches. So definitely uh, quite a bit of damage there. So let's cut it open. All right, so here's after being cut. So this bottom is the right side, this top is the left. So you can see pretty much as soon as that thing came in, we're at that quarter inch mark, started to open up. And you can see a nice stretch going all the way through and some really, really big splits. You can see it did drag in quite a bit of that cotton t-shirt. Um, even though it, you know, that hollow point cavity was very shallow, it still drugs some in. But look how wide those splits are. It's super clean cuts. Um, those gold dots always do really well, and they usually leave some very uh, nice, clean, uniform cuts in here. Um, and I have done this test in the past quite a few times, but I've never done it with the Glock 32. And I know a lot of people do carry the Glock 32, so I figured this would be a fun one. But huge splits and a ton of that fabric. So here's that top side. Same thing came in. Nice stretch going through. Same thing. Nice uh, nasty cuts going through. Really big splitting. Definitely doing quite a bit of damage. So that one is definitely a very impressive. So there we go. That one was that 125 grain spear gold dot. All right. Here's that cross section for that HST. 
So pretty much the same as the last one. Nice big splits. You can see a little bit of that cotton t-shirt already. But uh, definitely did quite a bit of damage. Same on this other side. Really nice star cuts going on. I did remeasure these, and these are right at uh, three inches. So a little bit bigger than that uh, gold dot. So, you know, pretty cool to see there. So let's cut it open. All right, so here's after being cut. So this bottom is the right side. This top is the left. So you can see pretty much as soon as that thing came in, right that quarter inch mark started to open up. You can see that huge path going on. Kind of seems like this one uh, did a little bit more damage. Just kind of jumbled that gel up a little bit more. Not as uniform, but really nasty stuff. You can see it did drag in quite a bit of that t-shirt also. That hull point cavity is a little bit deeper than that uh, gold dot. So kind of expected there, but definitely a nasty channel going on. A huge path for sure. But man, it was definitely uh, some nasty stuff. Would not want to be in front of that thing. But same thing on this top. Came in, opened up. And once again, nice huge path going on. There's some really tiny specks of lead down in there. It definitely held together for the most part, but it did shed just a little bit of lead. But that is uh, one nasty channel for sure. And that thing was moving out pretty good. Good to see those velocities from that 4-inch barrel. But there we go, guys. That one was that 125-grain Federal HST.